Hey, what's going on guys? Archer and Mark here, and I'm back with another figure review. Uh, I have yet another Marvel Legends figure. This is from the Ant-Man Ultron Build-A-Figure wave. This is Marvel's Wasp. Uh, very nice looking figure. I'm very happy to have added her to my collection. Uh, we'll give you a closer look at the figure in a moment. Of course, let's show you the packaging. A very standard at this point. Uh, Build-A-Figure logo there. So it's Ultron. And we go down, we have the Marvel Ant-Man logo and the little ant symbol there. And of course we have the bubble where the figure would be. Marvel's Legends Infinite series and the character name Marvel's Wasp. And the Hasbro logo there. On the side we have this cool image of these, just so many of these like scurrying ants. And just I like this little artwork there. Uh, same image on the other side. And we go here, cool image of the figure itself in all her glory. Again, Marvel Legends logo, Ant-Man logo. And little mini bio here, Marvel's Wasp, Janet Van Dyne flies and fights alongside Ant-Man, stinging evildoers with bioelectric blasts. And we go down here, here's the other figures in the wave. We've got Giant Man, Grim Reaper, Tiger Shark, Bulldozer, Wasp, which I'm reviewing now, and the movie version of Ant-Man, which I really want to get. Looks good to me. Uh, here's the completed version of Ultron. If you collect all six figures, looks pretty cool. Uh, Marvel logos and Hasbro logos here. Okay. There is the packaging. Let's put, spin this back around, and uh, here's the figure. And right off the bat, I'm, I love the facial sculpt. I think it's just really well done. Uh, just the, the eyes are painted well and the lips. I think the way they sculpted the cheekbones, it's just, it's just really nice. And we see down here, we have the paint apps. Uh, there's not a lot of extra paint. Her costume is mostly black, but we do, of course, have this gold uh, paint on the torso and the ab region and same paint on the hands which are nicely done and then a little bit of gold uh, on the soles here of the shoe or the side of the shoes other than that she's she's all black uh, of course you have the wings which are kind of like a, a greenish yellowish uh, translucent plastic and these are really well done. They're nicely sculpted. You can see all the, the, the details that they did on this. And you can see that it is, it is fairly uh, see-through. You can see my hand uh, through the wings. But again, the, all, the rest of the back, it, if you took the wings off, it, the whole backside, it's all black. But still looks pretty cool. Uh, one thing I want to point out, I think this is definitely a figure that if you if you have the options, uh, if, if there's more than one uh, of this figure on the pegs, definitely go through, make sure you have the uh, nice clean paint apps or as, or as nice as possible. I actually passed on this figure the first time I saw her because in the, the upper torso area was just, the paint was rubbed off on one side and scratched up and just it just didn't look good you know I was happy to find the figure but it's like no I don't want it like that uh, I got lucky I found this particular figure at Target it was just the one but then that same day I was in a Toys R Us and they had three or four on the shelf so hopefully that means that this figure uh, isn't going to be too tough to find because I would think of the wave this is probably uh, one of the strongest figures uh, of, of the wave, uh, probably the most one of the more desirable of the wave as well. I think this and the Ant Man figure would be the figures that people would want to pick up uh, the most. So, uh, very cool. We'll go over the articulation, and uh, the head head is on a nice ball joint, and you got left and right and up and down. 
doesn't move up too well, but down's got a decent amount, but you got great range of movement there. Uh, it's very fluid. Uh, the arms are on a ball joint, but they're very, very sturdy. They're very stiff on mine. So you got to put a little bit of pressure. So they move in and out. Great range there. Of course, arms move forward and back. Single joints at the elbows. They move really nice. And the hands, you have swivels and hinge joints at the wrists. So you can have a great range of motion. You have the, all the way swiveling around and the in and out pose. And also, I like the way her hands are posed. She has that sort of stinger, firing kind of look to them. I like that. Uh, you have the upper torso, which is kind of a ball joint, and you have like, moves a little bit down and a little bit up. Not too much. I've seen uh, a little bit better, but for the most part, it moves well, just not a great range of motion, but it still works. It's still there. Uh, no waist articulation, which is... I think standard for uh, female characters. The hip joints move out just that much and they move you know, back in. Uh, legs move forward and back, so great range of motion there. You have upper thigh swivel there. Uh, double joints at the knees. We got hinge joints at the ankles, which are very tight. And you do have the ankle pivot, so. Great articulation overall. Uh, you know, a few minor things like the. I uh, wish the the head could could move up a little bit more, especially you know when you have flying characters like that. Uh, so that's a minor gripe. But other than that, all right, I think the articulation is, is kind of on point. You do also have articulation with the wings. Now, also the wings, um, they are in a separate bubble. And they have to be put together. There's two parts to them. You have basically a peg and a hole system. These peg into the, the larger part of the wings. And you can see that you can move the wings. The, these have additional pegs which plug onto the holes in their back. And you know, you got movement up and down. You can move the wings uh, independently of one another. And you can move them in and out, and they swivel all around. So you could put them in various uh, positions. You can you could have them like that if you so choose, or you know keep them spread out. You can have them folded in, you know however you want it. You could even have them sort of more of a relaxed look, and just you know if you, if she's just standing around, and just have them down like that. So really well done the wings and that they if you get them pegged in right they they stay together they're not too loose they they hold their shape you know you can put them all the various di directions and they just they you know they'll stay where you put them depending on how you want to pose them so so they did a great job on the wings definitely you got great movement they well sculpted and they're not fragile the coloring is nice so that is really great. That's one of the pluses of this figure. I think really uh, makes this figure shine are, are the wings. They're just so well done. Uh, one other accessory that she does have, uh, not really for her, this is, if you're interested, this is the Build-A-Figure part for Ultron. You get his, his upper torso, uh, you know, looks nice be more impressive if I if I get all uh, the other figures in this wave to complete them we'll see about that but that you do have that there uh, so there you go I think this is a really well done figure uh, again a couple minor minor things with the articulation but overall well done it's a it's a great figure to add to your collection you know you want to add to your Avengers collection and I, I think even though it's a comic book version, I think it would still look good next to uh, movie new movie versions of, of the, uh, the character. So, so if you want to 
put your movie Avengers uh, with her, and I think she'll probably still look good with the, the movie Ant-Man. We'll see. Still, overall, is wonderful figure. Definitely would recommend her. Pick her up if, if you're interested, if, if you can find her. Again, hopefully she's not too difficult to find. Uh, she's been easy in my area, of course, that always varies. So there you go. I hope you really enjoyed this review. I think I gave you a real good look at her. Please uh, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And until next time, so long and have a good day.